Good evening, everyone. This is Jacob Nienaber here with a special edition of Pachislo Machines. Yes, that is right. Uh, recently, I've had some comments <clears throat> on one of my Pachislo videos um, asking how to fix an E4 error. So that's a hopper issue. Um, so this would most likely happen, uh, let's say, if there was a misadjustment on either... Um, one of the micro switches that it would be coming out of. Um, some of them do have um, basically infrared lasers that will come out. Um, but another issue that I have found that solves like n probably 90 to 95 percent of my problems is just simply resetting the machine. Now there's a special way that you have to do that and I'm going to show you how. So this would be like if you turn on the machine I'm going to use my end zone here. Um, when you turn on the machine, it would say basically in your win that you have like an E1, E2, whatever the case is. Sometimes, at least more likely than not, I've encountered that you have to um, essentially reset the machine. Now I'm going to show you how to do that here. We're going to take a tour on the inside real quick. So this might be a mild bit difficult to do with one hand, but if we were getting an error on, like I said, on the front of the machine, on basically on the, on the winds there, what we would do is we would go here. It's gonna, like I said, going to be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. We're going to turn it off, right? So obviously machine is killed, all is off. Now what we're going to do and honestly, this is this this little key switch has been, you know, pretty much I don't have a key for this one, but my handy dandy screwdriver has done me well. I'm gonna turn that to the right. This essentially is turning the on for a reset. We're gonna turn the machine back on. We should get a one here. This essentially is saying that we are in reset mode. And what we will do is we're gonna press down on this and we should get a zero on the other side. Like I said, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. Boom, there's zero. And now with the machine still on, we're gonna open this puppy back up, flip it to the other side, and bam, no more zeros. Light is lit up. we are able at this point to coin up. And this is how you reset a Pachislo machine. Uh, I cannot say for all machines, but I would say, oh, almost at least all of the ones that I have reset have had this same exact process. So this is how you reset your Pachislo machine.